50%. That's the chance a recruiter has of making an accurate hiring decision based on a resume or interview alone. Of course, this is a problem. But what is the solution? As a recruiter, how can you increase the accuracy of your hiring decision? Hi, my name is Katie, podcasting from the Harvard office in New York, and this is Recruitment on the Go. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. In today's episode, we're talking about predictive hiring. As a recruiter, you want to know how successful candidates will be in their role, and this is where predictive hiring comes into play. So what is predictive hiring? Put simply, predictive analysis for hiring uses historical data to make predictions about the future. The technology detects patterns among current employees through a combination of data and assessment science. Traditional hiring practices often still rely on very brief resume screenings and intuition-based interviews. Predictive hiring, however, relies on rich sets of data and smart algorithms to recommend best-fit candidates to recruiters and hiring managers. Now, about this data. Depending on what it is you want to know, you collect data from multiple sources. A data source can be anything. If you measure the number of productive hours per employee, for example, that's a data source. As a general rule of thumb, the more data sources you use, the better your predictions. That is, if your sources are correct, of course. After all the relevant data is collected, it's time to pre-process. This means that the data is cleaned, formatted, and sampled so that it's ready to be used in a predictive model. Next up is choosing a predictive model. There are many different ones, each with different outcomes. Decision trees, random forests, neural networks, and more. Your go-to data analytics expert will be able to tell you all about them and know which one to use when. Once a predictive model is chosen, it needs to be trained in order for the model slash algorithm to be able to make predictions. In other words, the model goes for a test drive with a big chunk of data. Here's an example. Using a training data set of 20,000 candidates, we find that 78% of them are still with the company after six months. This means that you can say with a high degree of certainty that out of the next 1,000 candidates, around 780 of them will still be in service after six months. Why use predictive hiring? There are numerous reasons to use predictive hiring in your recruitment process, but here are five of them. Number one, resumes are not predictive for success. As soon as a recruiter or hiring manager sees a candidate's name, the city they live in, or the school or university they went to, they'll have an opinion about them. Add further information about the applicant's gender, age, and previous jobs, and they'll believe they've got the respective candidate all figured out. Whether we like it or not, we are all subject to situations in which we are biased. But our name, place of birth, and gender don't predict how good we'll be at the job we're applying for. As such, the facts listed in our resume are not predictive for success. Resumes can easily be exaggerated and are often not verified via reference checks due to a lack of time. About one in three candidates tells a white lie here and there to embellish their CV a little. In other words, selecting people with the best resume doesn't necessarily get you the best person for the job. In the time where people are increasingly being hired on their skills and how well they fit into an organization they apply to, it seems a little odd indeed to hang on to a document that lists a person's education and professional background. Number two, increasing the quality of hire. Quality of hire is the mother of all recruitment metrics. It measures the value that a new hire adds to the organization. The metric is used to evaluate how much new hires contribute to the company's long-term success based on their performance and tenure at the company. Quality of hire is also used to measure the success of a company's recruiting efforts as a whole. Predictive hiring is based on actual data and assessment results. Those candidates that come out as the best fit for the job and organization are likely to succeed in their role, therefore boosting quality of hire. But that's not even the best part. By tracking your new hire's performance, say, six months down the line and then again after nine months, you gain useful insights that allow you to further optimize your predictive hiring efforts. If, for example, it turns out that those candidates who scored above average on stress resistance during the pre-employment assessment perform much better than those who didn't, you can modify your selection criteria accordingly. Number three, hiring faster slash decreasing time to hire. Time to hire is another important recruitment metric. 
it gives you information about how much time it takes to get an open position filled. The time span covers everything from the moment it becomes clear that there is a need for a new employee until the employee's first day at the office. Like quality of hire, the time to hire metric also tells you something about the efficiency of your recruitment process. Using predictive hiring for recruitment enables you to eliminate various inefficiencies and hence hire faster and better. This is because it automates part of the process since all candidates go through the same pre-employment assessment. Predictive hiring speeds up the decision-making process when it comes to deciding which candidates make it to the next stage. The software lists those applicants that scored best, giving recruiters and hiring managers a data-driven backup to help them in their decision. Number four, more consistent hiring decisions. Predictive hiring implies taking the intuition out of the process and replacing it with cold hard data. That in itself should lead to more consistent hiring decisions. After all, data and algorithms don't change based on whether or not they have a good feeling about a candidate. As we've heard before, predictive hiring increases quality of hire. This too will over time help recruiters and hiring managers make more consistent hiring decisions, especially since the process can be fine-tuned nonstop. Number five, increasing candidate engagement and boosting candidate experience. As a result of, among other things, a more efficient hiring process and faster time to hire, recruiters will have more time to talk to their top candidates. This is good news, of course, for the candidate experience. The use of a pre-employment assessment tool can also boost your candidate experience. Applicants tend to like the fact that they can go through an online assessment journey autonomously. It gives them a good idea about the company, the job, and their potential future colleagues. So how do you succeed in predictive hiring? Now that we've taken a look at some of the ways in which predictive hiring can improve your recruitment efforts, here are a few things to keep in mind in order to make it a success. Number one, you need to understand how predictive analytics work. Yes, this seems obvious, but too often still, organizations don't have the people on board who know how to work with predictive analytics. So either train people who are already a part of your organization or try to find an external person who can help you. Number two, you need reliable and consistent data input. This is just as crucial as understanding predictive analytics. Since the algorithm and the outcome it gives are being used by recruiters to support them in their hiring decisions, the data input must be reliable and correct. There are four important elements when it comes to data input. The first, the data needs to be valid. This is why you should use only scientifically validated assessments to collect data. The second, the data should be used as a decision support. The data helps the recruiter to make choices by providing a data-driven advice. The third, to make the system smarter, you have to know whether the decisions you're making are accurate or not. Collect feedback about the new hires during their employment and adjust the algorithm accordingly. The fourth, it's important to protect vulnerable groups and ensure that ratios do not get out of balance. Monitor ratios such as gender, age, and other characteristics that can indicate whether or not an imbalance occurs. Then the system can be adjusted if necessary. Number three, you need to invest in the right technology stack. There are countless predictive hiring solutions out there. A few things you may want to keep in mind when choosing one. Ask how they gather the data they use. Does it come from validated assessments or is it scraped from social media, for example? What kind of training will be provided for your people to get familiar with the software, in person or online, a couple of hours or a few days? Lastly, how easy it is for the software to evolve depending on your company's changing hiring needs. Number four, predictive hiring as a guide. You need to look at predictive hiring as a way to guide you, not as an ultimate decision-making tool. Predictive hiring tools are great, but they're not an ultimate solution in itself. The final hiring decision should still come from a recruiter or hiring manager. The technology simply gives them data-driven guidance they can use in their decision-making process. Let's take a look at a few companies that successfully use predictive hiring in their recruitment process. The first is JetBlue. JetBlue is a low-cost American airline company. A couple of years ago, the company wanted to improve training attrition among its call center agents. A job analysis helped detect the crucial skills and qualifications for the job, and based on that, a new hiring assessment was created. The assessment was implemented, and as a result, overall training attrition decreased by 
The next one is Wells Fargo. At Wells Fargo, a multinational financial services company headquartered in the U.S., they wanted a customized predictive hiring solution because the company has a very unique culture around needs-based selling and customer service. A predictive hiring tool is implemented and retention rates for teller and personal banker jobs increased by respectively 15 and 12 percent. The software also assisted Wells Fargo in defining the best success indicators, hence enabling the company to be more proactive in its recruiting efforts. And finally, an example from Zappos. The online retail giant was rethinking its pre-selection process. The company places the utmost importance on serving its customers and providing a great experience for everyone they interact with. As such, they wanted a new process that would connect to the company's vision of providing a great experience for everyone, candidates included. A pre-employment assessment solution from Harvard was implemented and after a year, 97% of all the Zappos applicants either agreed or strongly agreed when asked if they had a positive application experience. Furthermore, their analytics and recruiting teams are getting the right data to make great decisions for the future of Zappos. Mission accomplished. To wrap it up, predictive hiring can be a useful way to automate and optimize your recruitment process. It helps you improve quality of hire, decrease time to hire, and it boosts the candidate experience. Thanks for joining today's episode. If you want to learn more about predictive hiring and everything and anything recruitment related, please check out our blog at harvard.com blog and subscribe to our podcast. See you next time.